diverted to Milwaukee's Mitchell International today. And the crews there at Mitchell, they take great pride in keeping the airport open even when other airports are closed. Tammy Hughes shows us how they do it. It's a story new at 6. You could call it the Congo line at Mitchell International Airport. Keeping the public uh, safe and uh, uh, keep the planes in the air. On a day like this, they line up one after another, making sure planes can take off and land on time. Several machines called combos that are equipped with plows and sweepers push the snow aside. They're followed by an industrial sized snowblower. They weave around the runways and taxiways. You know, you got to watch what you're doing. You knock something out and you can close the airport down. They don't have to worry about city traffic, but they do have to be on alert for passenger jets, which isn't easy when all you can see is snow. You don't have the road markers or the street lights. You know, it's everything. Especially at night or at times it bring a white out that all looks the same. You know, in the autumn months, they're out there doing dry runs, making sure everybody knows what to do, where to go, because they do operate as a team. Behind the plows and blowers are machines that lay down a sand mixture. They don't use salt because it's corrosive to the plane's engines. And closer to the terminals, the planes are getting de-iced. It is a large winter operation that few passengers realize is even going on which is a sure sign of their success. There really is a, a large team of people operating behind the scenes to make sure these flights can land and take off. General Mitchell's longest runway is about two miles long. Mester says they can clear that with all of those machines lined up in about 20 minutes. Those machines cost over a half million dollars a piece, but the airport feels they have been a very valuable investment in the long run. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Tammy Hughes, Fox 6 News. I have never seen that. This is fascinating. Yeah. That is fascinating. Thanks, Tammy, so much. Well, the runways, as you heard.